Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here once again. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to play Magic Man by Roger Fisher, Nancy Wilson, Howard Leese, and Hart. Complete with all solos and fills. However, before we do, we need to talk about the tuning for this one because it has some rather unorthodox tuning going on with it, which we are not going to get into in this tutorial. I'm going to teach this entire track in standard tuning start to finish. However, to do so, it will require just a bit more jumping around the fretboard, especially during parts of the solo. Because you see, Roger tunes his high E string and his B string both up three semitones. Uh, yeah, you heard that right. That is well into almost guaranteed string breaking territory, and I don't want to break my strings. Likely neither do you. So standard tuning it is. Now, if you want to learn this one with the unorthodox tuning, there are other tutorials out there that'll teach you just that. Mike at The Art of Guitar has a good one if you're interested. Good? Then let's close in and get started. All right then, Magic Man, Hart, Nancy Wilson, Howard Leese, and for the most part Roger Fisher doing much of the soloing on this track. Uh, we are in standard tuning, like I said, and the rhythm of this one starts with this G power chord here. Just like palm muted double hits, double mutes, right? Bum bum ba -ba -ba bum bum ba -ba -ba bum 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 And over that is a short intro solo. Right there, right? So we're soloing in the key of G minor using the G natural minor scale. Right there, starting on the root note on the 17 of the D. All of the little fills and whatnot and short solos are all going to be in the G natural minor. Uh, the, uh, the quiet little middle solo. It's got more of a Dorian flavor to it. And then the final lick of the solo. That right there is more of a Phrygian mode, right? We'll get to that when we get to it. But this opening solo starts on the 16 of the B. Nice slow full step bend. Off to 15. On to 18 for another slow full step bend. Then you're going to go 18, 15. And then 17 off to 15 of the G. And then immediately 14, 15, 17 of the G. And then back off to 15 on to 17 little bend. 15 on to 18 again of the B into a full step bend. And that's the intro solo. Right, with some nice vibrato on it there. And then we drop into the first verse. So we're gonna drop back into G again. Bum, 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 bum. Same kind of rhythm, right? For kind of like four repeats. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum. Now we're going to go off to F at this point. Bum, 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 bum. And then back into G. However, a couple of things when we go off to F here. One being that the rhythm changes. We're not doing any more mutes. We're just dropping into straight shots, right? Bum, 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 bum. into G, we resume with the mutes again. Another thing when we drop off into F at this point is when the alternate tuning comes in. He's doing this rake up the strings. However, the high E and the B, he's got an F major chord here, freeing up the high E and the B string. However, the high E and the B are tuned up to those two notes right there. So when he rakes up, he's getting those two notes for the high E and the B. So if you do it without, you know, in standard tuning, it's not going to sound good. You can just rake up the F major, which is going to sound fine because it's an F major, right? However, he's got those two notes. So you can kind of mimic it like this by kind of dropping your pinky on the, uh, the top three strings and just rolling out of it. Kind of like that, right? It kind of mimics it a little bit. It is a separate guitar. So anyway, that's what we do when we go off to F, right? So bum, 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 bum. And 
now we're into the chorus. So we're going to drop into an A sharp power chord here. We're going to kickstart it with a very quick little down, up, down. Kind of like that, right? Ba -da -da -da. F, F, G, G, G. And then we're going to repeat that. Ba -da -da -da. F, F, G, G, G. And then we're going to go back off to F. Ba -da. And then you're going to do two very quick little pick strikes, a little down, up, and then choke it off before moving into G and doing the same thing. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da. Down to A sharp again. Into C. Ba, na, 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 na. Right? And that's the chorus. in the C. And then we're back into G again. And over that G is another short little fill. Right there. 11 of the B. Slow full step bend. 12 off to 10 of the G. And then another slow full step bend with your index. Right? And then we're into the next verse. Bum, bum. Same as the first. Bum, bum. And back to G. Chorus. Sharp in the C. And then we're going to go off to uh, G again. Bum, bum. With a little variation now. So we're going to hit that G a couple of times. Bum, 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 bum. Three to be exact. And then we're going to go off for a double hit of an F into C and back to G again. Bum, 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 bum. And over this is a short solo, starting with this trill on the third fret of the G string with the open G. And you're going to trill that for, I think, four bars, right? And then we drop into this short solo. So uh, 17 of the G, full step bend, another bend release off to 15. Grab the 18 of the uh, B, pull that off to 15, back into another little bend release of that 18, and then back to 17 of the G, releasing off to 15, back on to uh, 17, another bend, slide out of it, and then jump up here to 20 of the high E, give that a full step bend, slide out of it, right? So that's that short solo. Trill for four bars, right? Quite some time. And then... Back into another chorus. This chorus has a little variation right in the middle of it. And this is leading into the solo. So we're going to go back into G. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Do those little jogs off to F and C, right? Bum, bum, bum. Twice. And then back into G for three more repeats of that. Bum, 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 bum. And at this point, the solo starts. So this solo, we're going to be doing a little more jumping around than if we were in the alternate tuning. But I'll try my best to show you where we would be playing it if we were in the alternate tuning. So uh, considering that we're in standard tuning, we have to start up here on the 20th fret of the high E string with a little bend release off to 18. Hold on. Right there. 
then you're going to do the same thing on the B string. Now we have to back it up. If we were in the alternate tuning, we could just go up the 15s and 17s. Kind of like that, right? But we have to start three frets higher. Then we're going to do the same thing from 17 off to 15 of the G. Grab the uh, 17 of the D off to the 13 of the A, right? Now we're going to jump back to the 17 of the D and then string skip up to the 15 of the low E and slide out of it. And as you're sliding out of that, you're going to grab the two middle strings, let it ring for a bit, and then do it again. Little pause, and then do that again, right? Now before continuing the solo, we're going to grab the two middle strings, ba -da -da -da, little down up, down up, right? Da -da -da -da. Then we're going to drop on to the 20 of the B string, give it like four or five bends, nice slow one to begin. And then we're going to back it up into this G minor box, right? Grabbing the uh, 18 of the B and then bending the 17 of the G a couple of times. Kind of like that. And then a big slide down the neck and then we drop into this. Now we're grabbing a double stop on the threes. In the alternate tuning we would just grab the two open strings and then grab the five of the G into a nice slow full step bend. Then we're into this crazy little lick. So three five and then two three pulling off to open. Then you're going to go two three five pull off to open three times and then open two three. Right, so that's that lick. Into this. So two, three, two, three. Kind of staccato. Then a little hammer on two to three, back to two. And then three of the D, back to two of the G, back to three of the D, slide it into five. Then you're going to go immediately going to go back to the three of the G, slide it back to two. Back to the three of the D, back to the two of the G, back to the three of the D, hit it twice, and then into a nice slow full step bend. Right? Kind of like that. And then we're into this. Five of the D, three, four, five of the A, and then three, one of the A, roll it up to the one of the low E. Into this. A little transition into the mellow mid, uh, mid solo, right? On the fives of the D and the A twice, just rolling back and forth. Three, two, open of the A. Grab the three of the A and then open one, two, three. And then we're into the mellow solo. Right there. So we're on the nine of the G, little half step bend. Then you're going to bend it again, release it. Little half step bend, right? Then you're going to pre-bend, release it. Off to seven, grab the eight of the D. So it's kind of like bend, bend, release, pre-bend, release. And then we're going to go 7, 9, 10. And grab the 11 of the B with your pinky. Back to the 9, little bend, release off to 7. Grab the 8 of the D, back to the 7, right? And then you're going to repeat that. into this. Just going right down the scale on the G string with little slides from uh, 7 to 5 to 3 to 2. Grab the 3 of the D, slide it into 5, right? And that is that solo, and then we're into this crazy ass lick. That lick right there. Now, I don't know how to play this one in the alternate tuning, but it's got to be easier than that because this one is not easy to play. Uh, very uh, pinky intensive. So we're 
we're starting with a bend on the five of the G and then riding down the sixes. In the alternate tuning, we'd be riding down the threes, right? Then you're gonna pull off four off to three of the high E, grab the six of the B, and then a little back and forth between the five of the G and the six of the B. Right, onto the three, into a full step bend with your index, drop down to the four of the B, into another full step bend. And that's the lick. Getting it up to speed, getting that pinky going is, is not easy. Right, and you're gonna repeat that four times. And you kind of slowly release that, right? And then after you repeat it four times, you just go down those sixes from that bend and slide it up the deck into this. So 10 on 10 of the high E onto 11 of the B twice. And then 13, 11, 10 of the B up to 12 of the G. Now we have to do a little shift because we're in standard tuning back to the seven of the D goes seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Quick jump up to 15 of the high E, hit it twice and slide out of it, right? And then little pause, we're gonna drop right back onto that same note. Step and a half bend, right? And then off to an F power chord. Move it up into F sharp into G. And uh, so that is that little section there. You repeat that four times, final time. Now, in the alternate tuning, you wouldn't have to do that jump. You could play it all here. All within the same little box, right? So like I said, then we go off to F. And then we're into this little lick. So a double stop on the sixes, gonna hit it like three or four times. And then pull it off to three, drop back onto the six, slide it into eight, back off to six. Right, into this little lick. Just pulling off six off to three off to open, grabbing the six of the B, doing the same thing from the B string to the G string, finishing on the five of the G. And then the same thing now on the threes and fives of the uh, G and the D, finishing on the three of the D. And then back into another G power chord, a little bit of synthesizer going on here at this point. And then we're back into the track again, back into a ba -da -da -da, right? F, F sharp, G. And you kind of slide out of that at this point. And then we're back into those quiet Gs, right? We're going to repeat that four more times and then we're going to repeat it four more times with a slight variation. Right, we're going to do a quick little down up a little more aggressively on that F and the C, right? And then finally we're back into this again. Same lick we played in the middle of the solo, right? Five of the D up to five of the A twice. And then the three, two open of the uh, D, three of the A, open one, two, three, right? And then we drop into F for about four bars, lightly chugged. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back into another chorus. Now we're gonna back it up to A sharp and go A sharp to F three times. And then finishing. So same like we played earlier, right? Three, two, open. Open one, two, three. Drop into an F, or sorry, G power chord there, hit it twice. 
end of track. And that, my friends, is how you play Magic Man by heart. Certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you, and we will see you next time. Cheers. Hey, all me again. I'm just going to recap that solo for you. I normally will play through the solo nice and slow after I'm finished teaching it. And I kind of forgot to do that, so I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to run through this entire solo nice and slow before we're done. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Cheers.